Okay, just a, a few more before we finish off. Next one is the stochastic oscillator. Again, a, a popular indicator that people use. We throw these up here because we feel that this captures most of you. You've heard about these indicators and they're going to help you out. The stochastic oscillator, two variables in between the brackets, and they are the percentage K periods and the percentage K slowing. Now, if you've never been exposed to the stochastic oscillator before, then the percentage K and the percentage D may actually mean very little to you. Suffice to say, the stochastic oscillator is two lines, also like the RSI ranging between 0 and 100. It's two lines. The primary line is known as the percentage K, and the second line, which is simply a moving average of the percentage K, is known as the percentage D line. Okay, so what the stochastic oscillator does is actually just brackets. It brackets the last uh, eight or ten periods or so and places today's price in between that bracket, therefore giving you a value between zero and 100. Like the RSI, should the, you know, the, the price of the security rise over a few days, the stochastic oscillator will also follow suit. Okay, the thing about uh, Metastock, again, I guess a limitation is Metastock does not have a pre-programmed um, percentage D line. If you plot the stochastic oscillator in your Metastock, both lines will appear on the chart. But it actually doesn't have a pre-packaged or pre-programmed function to just identify the percentage D line. So you need to program your own. And we've done that down the bottom there. The example down the bottom is simply the percentage D line. Because as I said, the percentage D line is just a moving average of the percentage K line, the stochastic, the primary line. Okay, just bring that to your attention.